Hello, my name is Jen, and I am the illustrator of the book Coding to Kindness. So today we're going to read this book aloud and take a look at some of the puzzles to work on them together. This story is about three girls who are friends. And just like with any friendship, sometimes they get into disagreements. So we're going to use coding in order to help them solve their differences and solve their problems as they encounter them in their everyday lives. Ada, Dorothy, and Grace were the best of friends. But sometimes they got into sticky situations. Not pancake and maple syrup sticky, but the kind of sticky where they didn't get along and needed reminders to show kindness. The girls loved to play and go on adventures together. Playing each day was always a delight, but at times they had their differences. They were very unique in their own special ways. Grace's curiosity would sometimes get her into trouble. She was constantly wandering off and mystified by the world around her. This is Grace. Ada loved spontaneity and could be impulsive at times. She was always so excited about life that she acted first and thought second. That's Ada. And my favorite, Dorothy. Dorothy was often shy and liked to play by herself. She loved her friends, but at times needed space and alone time so she could have her toys to herself. That's Dorothy. When their differences arise, these three girls need your help. They heard that you know how to code and be kind. Can you help the girls code to kindness? Here's our first situation. One day when the girls were playing on the swings, Grace let curiosity get the best of her. She began to wander off into the flower bed to look at the newly sprung daffodils. Why is Grace always wandering off? I know. She never listens to us and is always curious about everything else besides playing with us. Can you help code Grace back to her friends so they can play together again? Use the arrows provided to code a path to get Grace back to her friends on the swings. This is a good place to pause the video and take a look at the puzzle and see if you can find the answer. Yay, you did it! Grace made it back to her friends. This is fun. I love when we swing together. Me too. Until situation number two. Dorothy and Grace headed to the field to play soccer. Ada always disliked playing soccer. Instead of using her words to tell her friends that she wasn't interested, she kicked the ball far off into the woods near the field. Why would you do that, yelled Dorothy. We wanted to play soccer, Ada. That wasn't nice, cried Grace. Using your words is always the kind thing to do. Can you help code Ada to the soccer ball so she can return it to her friends and apologize? This is a great place to pause the video right now to see if you can find the answer for yourself. There are at least two different options for this particular puzzle. Wow, you did it. Thanks to your coding skills, Ada returned the ball to Dorothy and Grace, and she apologized for kicking the ball. I'm sorry. They joyfully agreed to walk to Dorothy's house to play with her dolls. When they arrived back at Dorothy's house to play, Dorothy decided she didn't want to share the new doll her mother had just bought her. She hid it under the bed while the girls weren't looking. That's not very nice. Dorothy needs your help to remind her why it is important to share her doll. Can you code Dorothy and her doll to her friends so they can all play together? This puzzle has multiple right answers. If it seems too easy, see if you can find out more than one right answer for yourself. Amazing job helping Dorothy realize it's important to share. She saw Ada and Grace's happy smiles while playing with the new doll. She knew she did the right thing. Through coding, you have reminded the girls to listen to each other problem solve, use kind words, and share. They will always remember these important skills and enjoy their time together as the best of friends. Each and every code is a path in a new direction. With each step, you can always choose kindness. 
there are lots of different things you can do to be kind. Some of the things that we have included in our book would be saying good afternoon to someone, helping out the elderly, holding the door, picking up trash, sharing your toys, helping a friend, walking the dog, or even just saying something nice. I hope you enjoyed the book, and I hope you'll start thinking about ways to be kind. Thank you. Bye.